everyone. Well, thank you for waking up to this call. I'm Atif, and I have along with me my colleague Zafar Ali, and we belong to the Project Wise Product Support Team. About me, I have been working with Bentley since last 2.5 years, and mostly working on Project Wise Core and integrated related issues. So today, we are going to give us a presentation about how embedding links work in project wise. So our agenda for today is what is project wise integration? How it is achieved? What does it? How it gets? How project wise in, gets integrated with other applications? Then we'll go for attribute exchange. How we can define attributes? How it works in project wise? How it communicates with other applications? Then we'll go with how embedding links to Excel documents work with project files. And then we can, we'll show you the project wise compatibility matrix. And in that thing, we can see how, what versions of project wise client are compatible with other versions of AutoCAD, MicroStation, and Microsoft Office, etc. So project-wise integration, what is it? Project-wise integration is a module used for exchanging information between the applications like AutoCAD, Microsoft Office, MicroStation, etc. Why is it required? Project-wise integration uses a single source of information stored in the, in the database. The primary purpose of project-wise integration is to automate the placement of a document attribute information into an AutoCAD, Microsoft Office, or MicroStation file. How to achieve project-wise integration? Before integration, integrating any application as listed as above, like AutoCAD, Microsoft Office, MicroStation, you need to make sure the desired applications are installed on the user's machine. And after running the project-wise client setup, you have to make sure the applications which you have installed on the user's machine are checked. It is like, um, this is a example, or this is the figure 1.1, where you can see uh, there is an integration for Microsoft Office, integration for Autodesk AutoCAD 2021, and Autodesk AutoCAD 2020. So once these options are checked while installing the project-wise explorer, client edition, project-wise gets, gets integrated with all these external applications. And that is how you can achieve integration with project-wise. I will hand over to Zafar Ali now to go with the AutoCAD integration with project files. Thank you. Hello guys, hope you can hear me well. And today I'm going to talk about the AutoCAD integration with ProjectWise. And to introduce myself, I am with Bentley since two years working in ProjectWise integration team and ProjectWise core related issues. Working with Bentley, I learned how the CAD applications work within ProjectWise and the ProjectWise functionalities that are integrated with other applications through ProjectWise integration module. AutoCAD integration with ProjectWise, <clears throat> once it is successfully integrated with other applications, like you have learned in the previous slides, after checking the options while installing the project-wise client application, you will see the project-wise ribbon will be added to your applications which you will be using to integrate within project-wise. Once you click on the project-wise ribbon, you can explore multiple options that you are seeing right now on your screen. 
they are differentiated by the tabs. The first tab indicates document. Once the document is stored within project wise, the project wise has some attributes, properties, resources associated with that particular document. Within the document, you would be able to see how to import, export, see the properties, open, and create new files within ProjectWise using AutoCAD ProjectWise ribbon. You can attach references like attaching and reloading them through ProjectWise ribbon. You can also insert title blocks, update the drawing, and update the attributes of the AutoCAD drawing within ProjectWise. You can also place a sheet set using ProjectWise ribbon. You can enable and disable the integration by switch option under integration tab within ProjectWise ribbon. Next, defining attribute exchange. Attribute exchange is transferring the data from or to project wise using title block environment attributes. Environments in project wise is a really enhanced feature where it allows the users to create custom attributes and define them well in project wise so that you can access them outside of project wise using other applications. In this figure, you will see that when you create a new drawing, you can ask the AutoCAD to pull up the properties of project-wise drawing and see what all information you would need while working on a CAD file. How does it work? Components need, needed for attribute exchange. There are a few things that you need to remember while integrating the application from ProjectWise so that you achieve what you need. Update conditions, environments, attribute exchange rules that are used to bind attributes to the environment attributes defined in project-wise, application associations, and then tag those attributes to the file with title block setup. Troubleshooting is done in the same sequence. Heading towards next slide, you will see how the update condition looks like in ProjectWise Administrator. This figure is an AutoCAD title block property that will let you define the conditions on when you would be updating those attributes. While clicking the, while uh, checking the option, open, checked out, copied out, exported. This defined by your project-wise administrator. While you open the file, it will update your title block in the CAD file. It depends on the project-wise administrator on how the workflow is set up within your environment. Binding. There are types of applications that you can use to bind the attributes within project-wise. First and foremost, AutoCAD-based applications like Civil 3D, Revit, and AutoCAD verticals. Office applications, MicroStation, and CAD design application produced by Bentley. In this image, you will see how the attribute exchange rules are defined within the properties of AutoCAD, Office, and MicroStation. 
This is the structure that you need to follow while creating the bindings for an attribute. Under attributes, you will see specific applications. Like we are discussing the AutoCAD for now, we'll stick to AutoCAD. Under AutoCAD, you will need to create an attribute class. Once you create an attribute class, we recommend you that you rename the exact same thing in the AutoCAD while defining the title block or blocks. While, once you define the attribute class, you can create an attribute within the same name when AutoCAD attributes. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.